Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Second One here back with my Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 Let's Play. Oh boy, last time we had quite the journey. Again, I appreciate any of you who actually stuck around and watched the whole three hour video. I didn't think it would end up being quite that long. I mean, I knew it might, but I was hoping it wouldn't be. But it was. But we did finally beat Adachi and the uh, spirit that came out of him, so to speak, Amano Sigiri. We, we beat him, but man, was that a tough fight. Oh boy! So, yeah, I guess we beat the game. Uh, all that's left to do is uh, go to bed, right? I mean, yeah, we saved the world. The fog is gone. Everything looks back to normal, right? So, why not? Christmas! Yes. Best time of the year. So the case is closed for reals this time. Yeah. Ain't it great? I think we can safely leave the rest to the police. Adachi for now. has confessed his crimes, so I'm sure Namatame's presumed guilt will be re-examined as well. Yeah, that's good. He doesn't deserve to be punished since he wasn't the one responsible. I see. Then that really wraps it up. Guess so. Right? What do you do now, Teddy? You're not going back over there, are you? Yeah, stick around. You're fun to have around. You better not, you dumb bear. You don't know how much you worried us last time. Yeah, we were worried about you, so stay. Come on. You know I you want to. won't suddenly disappear like that again. Good, you better not. Damn straight you won't. Man, just stay here, all right? Yeah, like I was saying. Huh? Oh! Phone call. Dojima! Hey, it's me. Hey! Good news. It looks like they're letting Nanako come home for a bit. Yay! She's awake again, and she's got a good amount of strength back, too. Aw, oh, thank God. If all goes well, she might be able to leave the hospital for the time being. And as for me, they said I just needed to see a doctor regularly. So I'm planning to come home with Nanako today. Yay, our family is coming home! <laughs> Sorry I had to stick you with all the housework. I'll make up for it somehow. Anyway, see you later. See you later! Okay, we so need to party. Really? Nanako-chan's coming home? Yes, so party time, come I'm on! I'm so happy for her! Me too. Me too. I'm really glad. The fog's <sighs> all gone over here. Because everyone tried so hard, and now Nanako-chan's gotten better! Thank God. Nanako-chan tried hard too. She fought to live. She... She's such an amazing girl. I know. <laughs> I know. You're right, Risei. <laughs> oh, come on now. No tears! Seriously. Thank heavens she's okay. Yeah. Agreed. Oh, look at them hugging. Aww. <laughs> oh, come on, don't cry. Happy tears, come on. Where Smiles. Are you touching? Teddy! You. Ah, I should have guessed. Ugh. Teddy. Well, one thing's certain it's party time! That's what I've been screaming! Let's throw oh, a Eugene big Christmas party for Nanako chan. Yes! Totally. Party, you say? I'm sure Nana-chan will be delighted. Uh-huh. We'll need a cake, then. Yes. And decorations. Guys, please say you're not gonna... Huh? We're gonna make oh. one. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you girls shouldn't cook. Good intentions, I know. But Mystery Food X happened. We don't need a repeat. <laughs> of course we're gonna make one. I've already researched the ingredients. Have you? Hey, wait, wait a sec. Whoa there. That's way too <laughs> tall an order for you. Well, if they follow a recipe, maybe it'll be fine. Let's go to the grocery department. Come on, Nato-kun, you too. Yeah, you didn't think you'd be left out, did you? But I've never baked a cake. 
Well, may as well try, right? Don't worry, neither have we. Go. Oh. oh boy. You better follow a recipe then. Follow whatever Yukiko looked up, or it's gonna be a disaster. You'll make Nanako throw up. It's so warm. Oh, Nanako, you're so back. This is the fabled Kotatsu. Yeah, I need to look up what that is again. Is it just like a, he a heating blanket kind of thing? I was really looking forward to the new Kotatsu. No. Yeah, you talked about it all the time at the hospital. Yeah, that's the last thing we were supposed to do before she was taken away. Nanako's going back for a close checkup tomorrow, but at this rate, the doctors say she can leave the hospital soon. Awesome. If I'd gotten better sooner, we would have been able to buy the Katatsu together. Sorry. Nanako, don't you dare say sorry. It wasn't your fault. You adorable, precious child. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Seriously, kiddo. Okay. Next time, let's go together. Definitely. Sorry for the wait. Oh boy, here we oh, go. No. The Christmas edition of Mystery Food X is about to be served. Let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they got it right. Let's not Bring jump to conclusions. I'm ready. Got my insurance card and everything. <laughs> insurance card? Oh god. It's a cake! That actually looks pretty good! Hey, this is bigger than I imagined. Hey, that just means more leftovers, right? Wait, Nanako chan! I'll be the first one to. Nanako! No! <laughs> Score! You got it right, girls. Well done. It tastes really good. Th that can't be. Try it. Has she lost all sense of taste? No, I think the girls just followed the recipe and got it right. Maybe they're just not good with curry. She's right. It's like nothing you've tasted before. Did you guys really make this? Yep, looks like they did. Huh? Uh, of course we did. Or maybe not, with that tone. Does it actually taste like something? It's not hot, is it? How no. is it, Kanji? Hmm? It, it's amazing! <laughs> you know what they say about true talent not needing to show off? Turns out we had good taste in cooking after all. Maybe. <sighs> then again, this one was our third attempt. Oh, that's okay, Naoto. Hey, that just makes perfect. Chie chan and the others really are talented chefs. Three stars for sure. Don't you mean five? I impossible. This actually tastes good. See? Wait, I didn't already pass out, did I? This isn't a dream, right? No, Yosuke, you blockhead. <laughs> um, Nana-chan, guess what I have? Oh. Ta-da! A Christmas present for you! Oh, Teddy Plushie! I want one. <laughs> oh, it looks just like you! Aww. I wish I could have made it look better. That's adorable, though. Yeah, seriously. I need a Teddy and Morgana plushie in my collection of stuff somehow. But I thought I didn't keep you company at the hospital, Nana-chan. Oh. And it's made from 100% pure teddy fur. I'm a guy who's all about using all natural materials. Uh, that might not be so good. I isn't that nice of him, Nanako? Teddy fur. Uh. <laughs> You, Teddy. I have to thank you all again. Adachi confessed to the two murders. He insists it was him who hung the bodies, too. That's good. At least he didn't keep trying to hide it. There are still things that are unclear about his story, but he's most likely gonna pay for his crimes. Thank heavens. Anyway, 
This was one strange case. I'll say. But it was one hella good mystery, though. Am I right? If what you said about a world inside the TV was true, then everything might make sense. Oh, it's true, but thankfully you can't go in there. I still don't believe it. Of course. Some things in this world just can't be explained. Eh. Like Nanako. She made a miraculous recovery, and now she's as healthy as ever. Back Thank in the goodness. day, my own senpai on the forest told me something. There's an underside to everything that you can never see. Huh. This case has made me think about a lot of things. You've helped us out so much. <laughs> it was meant to be the other way around, really. There isn't much time left until spring. But I hope I can do some catching up until then. Yeah, remember, you's gotta go back home. Spring. That's right. You're only here until spring, huh? Yeah. Senpai, you're going back? Mm. It won't be the same without you. I know. I'll miss you guys too. Sensei? <laughs> Are you going somewhere? <laughs> okay, this is cheesy, but... I'll stay in your hearts. Senpai, that's one hell of a cliché. I know. But hell with it. I got nothing against a line like that. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, spring's a long ways off, right? Let's have all the fun we can until then. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't get too carried away. My sis would kill me if you got yourself held back a year. Oh, don't worry. We'll still keep up with our oh, studies. but then you wouldn't have to go back, huh? Ah. That's true. But no, we'll do the right thing. Wow, if that happened, I'd be in the same grade as Senpai. <sighs> oh, Rise. I don't want to be held back. <laughs> Aw. Your friends, whom you fought alongside, will forever be close to you no matter how much distance separates you. Yep. Together with them, you have overcome many ordeals, and the peace you've long awaited for has returned. Though the extreme cold has eased somewhat, the winter weather in this region is still severe. But the days that you spend with your friends, whom you face the truth, yeah, whom you have faced the truth with, are always warm. Yeah, and time has passed. Spring has come. Oh no. Yep, time skip. Slight time skip. And now this is where I have to do something crucial. I can't exactly explain why, but... Cherry Blossoms! Oh, that's pretty. Spring has once again come to Inaba. And it's so pretty. Look at the blue sky. So nice. I'd say spring or winter is my favorite season. I can't choose. I hope I do this next part right, though. Tomorrow is finally the day you will part with everyone. Uh, I don't happy? wanna. Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Aw, thanks. Can I go answer the door? Of course, sweetheart. Oh, go ahead. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Oh. Oh, that child is so precious. I love her. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. Oh. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go okay. see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. Yeah, I know, I know. You should run around for a while, yeah. I will. Are you going out? Be careful. Oh, I will, sweetie. Don't worry. 
You just be a good girl for your dad, okay? Not that that's hard for you. Okay. Now. I believe what I have to do is talk to every social link that I have gotten to rank 10. Oh, hi. Hello. Aww. Chie, we'll start with you. Yukon! Aww. I was just thinking of you and you suddenly showed up, so... Aww. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Oh, wow. She wants to be a police officer now. That's... That suits you. You're gonna kick a lot of butt, Chie. I know you are. Aww. Aww. Come back anytime. We'll be waiting for you. Aww. Yeah, of course I will. We gotta say goodbye to everyone. Uh, actually, I should save here in case I mess up. Just in case I do something wrong. I'll save here. Just in case I'd rather be safe and know that I can go back if I screw up somehow. I, I did look up what to do, so hopefully it'll be just fine. We oh, say... My girlfriend. <laughs> In game, of course. Oh, Senpai, where are you going? I came to see you. Senpai, no. That's like you came to say goodbye. I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, right? I'm, re I'm returning to showbiz starting spring. I went to voice training today to prepare myself for that. You see, I'm re redebuting myself with a new album. Yes. I'm writing all the lyrics myself. Well, I got a D in composition. So they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff's happened while I was on break. I made friends. Dear friends. Everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who will listen. My deepest feelings in my own words. I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give in to that fear, right? I'll work hard for, for all my fans out there. I'm going to make a huge comeback. So wish me luck. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, Senpai. Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of, that, of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way as I work. Oh, Rise. I look back at Juness now, and I feel all these good memories of us. Maybe I'll, off I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Juness. Then you'll all remember the times we had every time you see it. But then, we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll say goodbye. And I won't cry. I'm so glad that fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's a clear blue sky over here. We can see you off on a happy note. Well, see you later. Oh. Yes, of course we're gonna say goodbye to them. Oh, uh, I do gotta... Oh. Can I go into the metalworks? Because I, I definitely need some money. Oh, really? Okay. Is there anyone else around here? I gotta check everywhere and hopefully not miss anybody. Hey! Kanji, my man! No, not there! Speak to Kanji. Whoa, Senpai, what are you doing here? Talk with Kanji!
Oh, it's Mom! Oh, hello, Yukon. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. D shut up, you old bat! Kanji! I told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handcraft class? Handicraft, my bad. Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Yukon. Come visit here anytime, alright? Goodbye now! I like his mom. She's nice. <sighs> it, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class? Uh... See, a bunch of customers like those knitted dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So, so I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. Hey, that's a great idea! Laugh it up, why don't ya? Don't laugh. Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, hell, why not? Why not, you know? Yeah. Totally. I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. You're gonna be fine. But, uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> Aw, Kanji. It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, Senpai. Thank you very much. Sure thing, Kanji. Aww. We're gonna miss you, bud. Are you gonna say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. Yeah. We put an end to that stuff, right? The Dachi's in the slammer, and the fog is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai, when you go, don't turn back around, okay? See ya. Aw, because you're gonna cry. I'm gonna say goodbye. Where would Yosuke be? Would he be in Juness? I guess I can check. I don't know where else he'd be. I should check the floodplain as well. No, he's not here. That's weird. Alright. Uh... Floodplain? Probably Naoto will be there. Maybe? Let's see. Also, we need to find Yuki. No one's here, really? Maybe they're at the school. It isn't Monday. We'll check down here, though. Let's see. Anyone hiding down here? No? Very well. Well, then there's only one other place. That has to be the school. Right? Enter. Yes. And hopefully I can find everybody. Nato, there you are. I'll talk to you since you're right here. Oh, Senpai. Do you have business at school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers. That's right. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Well, then please excuse me. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Nato. Not really. Oh, there we go. <sighs> this town has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that, for me to remain here, without you or a case to solve, I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward, since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just like your departure that's making me lonely. Aww. I apologize. I'm sorry, I'm making trouble for you. 
Ooh. Uh, I hope this doesn't matter. Uh, no, I should apologize. Please don't apologize. It's not your fault for moving home. I'm sure this is hardly the last time I'll face a situation such as this in my life. I'll remain here in Inaba, Senpai. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure the precious time I've spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Amino Sagiri. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. Please don't forget your time here. Oh, I never could. Oh. I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So this is our last chance to talk. Just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I can go visit you anytime and vice versa. Yeah, just remember that. I can always come back. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, not all. Such a sweet girl. I know, I know, I know, game, I know. Um, 2F? Or maybe Yukiko will be on first floor. I hope I don't have to act have to speak to um, Nanako or Dojima since they are rank 10 to do what I need to do. Also, where the heck is Yosuke? I've not found him. Somehow. Oh, maybe he's in the classroom. Too up. He might be in the classroom or something. Calligraphy. Library. Well, maybe you could go with being there. No need? Yeah, I know there are, but I gotta find them. There. Aw, oh, really? Okay. There's no one else on the roof, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Um... Back into town, I guess. But where else would everyone be? Where, like, where would Yosuke go now? I have no idea. He's not over here in town anywhere. Yeah, yeah, okay. Where else would they be? I need to talk to Yukiko. Uh... Someone else. Oh, I can't go in there, okay. Then where are they? Where on earth would they be? I sleep. I checked everywhere. I mean, I could check by the riverbank again. Yeah, Yosuke is not even here. I'm sure we have to talk to him, right? Right? Because he is one of the ones we got to rank 10. I finished the entire main group. Okay, there's still no one here. Did I somehow miss him in the school? I have no idea. There are still, there are still people around somewhere, so... And I think if I go back to my house, that will end everything, and we don't want to do that. 
Uh... Yeah, where is Yukiko and freaking Yosuke? That's what I'm trying to find out. Maybe the bathroom will give me a hint. I can't even go in there? Really? Yeah, I know there are others, but I'm trying to find them. I am pretty sure going back to the Dojimas will end everything automatically. So I don't want to go there. Although at this moment in time, I don't know what else to do. But I know that's not right. What am I missing here? Where else could they be? Okay, um... Maybe what I should do is save again. Because obviously there's nobody else around. I will save. Check by the Dojima residence. Maybe you have to actually go inside and like end the day before it'll progress? I don't know. I'll see. Don't end it before I'm ready. Okay, yeah. You talk to them to end it. Thought so. Okay. Hang on, maybe... Can I just talk to Nanako? Big bro! Okay. What about Dojima? Hey! Not all of them. I know, I'm trying, but where is everybody? This is annoying me now. There are still people I need to talk to, so where... I can't go into any stores, right? At all? Yosuke and Yukiko, where are you? Okay, I can't go into any... Do I have to go to... Do I have to go to Junez? Juna's Carmen store to talk to Yosuke? Actually, like, go into the elevator? I'll just go this way. Or... Okay, just had to check. Where on earth is everyone? I've talked to almost everyone, right? He's gotta be in here somehow. Okay, good. Yo! Hi! Aww. Teddy. Going around saying goodbye, huh? What do you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. Huh. I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I 
remember the first time Sensei and Yosuke break that first time Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, ever since then, it was just one surprise after another. I'll say. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's gonna be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. Aww. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight too. <laughs> Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Ooh, how reckless! Of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Aww. Why didn't you say so earlier? Sensei, bring it on, let's fight! <laughs> oh, Ted. Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. We're glad we met you too. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Aww. Life? Come on, man. You were the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. But thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Aw, Teddy. Love is kinda strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. No! No, oh, it's not. <laughs> Brotherly love, guys. Oh, Teddy. You're so silly. You feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and Teddy. Of course. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere else to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. Alright, that should leave only... Yuki. I know, I know. Where would Yukiko be, though? I want to say she would be at the floodplain. Maybe I would have had to speak to Yosuke first, and that's why she wasn't there? But I know we're missing someone, obviously. Dang, she's not here. Where on earth would she be, then? Where else would she go? Dang it, no one's here either. Okay. Uh, would she appear at the school now? I don't know. I have no idea where she would go. I'll check the school again, but... Wouldn't she have been there anyway? I don't know. Yeah, she's not around. Yeah. Figured. Where would Yukiko be? She's like the only one I haven't spoken to yet. Figures. she go? I'm trying to make sure I look everywhere for her. I think she's all that's left. So if we can just find her, we can move on. She wouldn't be on the roof, right? I doubt that. No? Not around here. I... Yeah. Figures. Then where would...
sheep. I'll check the roof, but you'd think she would have been there before. Yeah. Um, no in town, I guess. Shopping district. Where on earth would she go? If she's not at school. Not seeing her anywhere around here. I might have to look it up, but I'd rather not. Where would she be? I don't think she would be in Junez as well, right? I'll check by my house again. Just them. Alright, leave. Where are you, Yukiko? You're the last one I need to talk to, and now I can't find you. I'm pretty sure she's the last. Oh. I am confused. Hmm. Uh. Might have to look this up. Where does Yukiko appear? To talk to on the final day. Persona 4. Alright, Yuki, where are you? Oh! The bus! Seriously? Okay. I didn't think you could take the bus anywhere. Alright, I should have thought of that then. Alright. My mistake, I should have thought of that. Log in, there we go. That makes sense. That, that makes total sense. The more I think about it, alright. I should have thought of that. Aww. Welcome to... Huh? Yukon. That's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. I... I was thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath and going to sleep. So I can... I can say goodbye without crying. Aww, Yuki. We'll miss you too. <laughs> but I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all. You're so mean. <laughs> Excuse me, you're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. Yuki, no, no, no. You need to stay <laughs> here. Just kidding. For now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become the manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all the responsibilities. Whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But I made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. Atta girl. And you'll be in my heart while I do, Yukon. We'll be together, even when we're apart. Yes. I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fears. 
I'm going to meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Re remember what Amano, eh, Amano Sigiri said? If mankind wishes, I will return at any time. That's not what I wish for. Yeah, me either. I'll face myself no matter what happens. Thank you. Yukon, thank you. You'll forever be my precious friend. Aww. Um, well, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. Bye, Yuki. Is that everybody? That should be everybody that we got to rank 10. Others I share a close bond with? Really? Like who? I read that you only had to talk to everyone that you had already gotten to rank 10. Who else? Um... They don't mean talk to every single social link you started, do they? Does it mean to talk to... Nanako and Dojima? Being they are also ranked 10? Maybe now I can? I don't know. Maybe not. Nanako. No. Okay. He's just gonna ask me. Not all of them. Okay. Is there somebody I missed? Talk to Yosuke, talk to Yukiko, talk to Kanji. Dojima's here, but apparently I can't talk to him. Rise, Chie, Nanako, Nato. Does Teddy count as something different? It shouldn't, right? Because they were there at the same time. Yeah, I don't want to end yet. Is somebody else in the school now? I gotta keep going and looking. I don't want to miss anybody. Apparently I gotta keep talking to people until I'm prompted. When I'm prompted to go back home is when I need to do it. So... Who else? I haven't missed anyone. I can't go in there. Really? Ugh. It can't mean every single social link that I've started, right? I did, like I was saying, read that it was only the ones who had ranked up to 10 and maxed out. Which, that should have been it. So, I am not sure. I wonder, will it let me in the... Music room now? Probably not. But maybe? Oh wait, music room is on the second floor. Okay. Right? <sighs> Man, this is a little bit of a pain. Yeah. Music room, where are you? I thought the music room was up here. Wait, it'd be in the practice building, right? Yeah. I haven't gone there that often.
No need to be here. Okay, then. Who have I not talked to then? Okay. There has to be somebody I missed. But who? I'm not seeing anybody out and about here. Alright, so... I am very confused. Oh, I shouldn't stop here, though. Aww. I guess it would still be sold out, huh? Who in the world could I have missed? Unless... To talk to... Nanako and Dojima... I have to go in the house. That might be it. It did give me the prompt to go back home. That might be it. I will save just in case that is not it. I figure since they were rank 10, you would have to talk to them, so... Save. And we'll try that. Because otherwise I'm not sure what else I could be missing. I've looked everywhere. I hope this is right. I mean, that would make sense. Go back inside. Oh. No! <sighs> okay, then what am I missing here? to think. Maybe the Velvet Room somehow? Although that sounds strange. Okay, so going back home will automatically end the day and I have to prepare for tomorrow. Oh. Well then... Maybe you do have to talk to Teddy on the final day? Maybe that conversation with, uh... Oh, Windows. Maybe that conversation with Yosuke didn't count? Maybe? Uh... Talk to Nato. Uh, shoot. Man, I'm not finding anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I thought I'd talk to everyone now. Who in the world am I missing? Or is there something I'm supposed to do? Yeah, okay. It wouldn't... Maybe the... Did I check the floodplain again? I need to do that. Uh... I wish it marked on the map where you're missing somebody, but it doesn't. There wouldn't be anybody here for some odd reason now, would there? I doubt it. I'll check here. Nope. What? 
What am I missing here? Something again in Tunis? I doubt that. Unless I said something wrong to one of the people already, but... Uh, okay. I am really confused. What could I possibly be missing? I don't want to end the day. You don't want to do that. That I know. Who did I not talk to? What, do I have to go to every door in school until I find whoever it is? That's the only other thing I could think of to do. Because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I'm missing something, I just don't know what it is. There's somebody I haven't spoken to. Although I have no idea who. keep telling me there's no need to be here, but I've checked everywhere else, I think. Stop. Okay, no. I have no idea what I could possibly be missing. No, I don't want to leave. supposed to do? <sighs> I don't want to accidentally screw myself over. But I can't talk to them. There's some other thing I have to do to talk to them before leaving. I'll previously maximize social links need to be visited, yes. I didn't max her out. Nobody I missed. Do I have to say that I... No, because that'll end it. Right? Okay. I will save again. And just... Talk to... Dojima. That might be what I have to do, I'm not sure, I'm just annoyed and I want to get this right. I don't want to screw this up. Because if I do, I will be very upset with myself. Alright. I don't know what else to try. Better not just end the day. If it does, I'll be very annoyed. 
All right, Dojima. Hey. Don't advance today, please. Okay, good. Mm. You, you look a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up surprisingly fast. Sonico, do you remember what we promised? Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. You too, Nanako. Yep. Aw, she's sad. Okay, I'm glad that didn't- I thought talking to him or going inside to the house would advance it and I would be able to do what I need to do. Okay. We found what I missed. Good. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. Then, we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Big bro. Will you remember me? Of course. It's a promise. Oh. <laughs> Aw, come on, don't cry. I'm not crying. Yes, you are, and it's okay. Saying goodbye is hard. Oh well. I guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you, you. We're gonna miss you. It wasn't all that long. All the things considered. Yeah. It wasn't all that long, all things considered. But I did enjoy your time here with us. I really did. Yeah, I really do think of you as part of my family. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. <laughs> Give Nanako a call sometime when you have a spare moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know. Thanks. There we go. Good. When I grow up, I want to marry you, big bro. Uh... Sorry, Nanako, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you're a stud, you. You want to find somebody like me, but no. Sure, Nanako. If he's still available by the time you're an adult. <laughs> but, that will be a long time. Won't it, you? Right? Eh. <laughs> by the way, have you said goodbye to everyone yet? You still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around Inaba and see everyone who, who will miss you? Besides, I don't think you really had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. Now that I think about it, that case began shortly after you arrived, and it finally ended a few months ago. Basically, it all happened while you were here in Inaba. I guess it was just a quirk of fate. Anyway, you should get going. We'll be going home too. Thank goodness. Okay! You say goodbye to everyone you share close bonds with. No! Now! I think I know what I need to do. I believe I know what I have to do now. I think this is what I have to do next. I think. Really? No! No, no, no. What is it I have to do next? Okay. I said goodbye to everybody. What do I have to do after that? Remind me. Okay. Um... I might have an idea, actually. Uh, I thought that didn't happen until later, though. I don't think we did that yet. Yeah, we do. Okay. 
what's the next step? You know, to Google. Once you've done this, say no. Oh, okay. You have to go to... Oh, you gotta go to Tunis again? what I need to do. I'm not finished. Yes. Here we go. That's what I meant to do. I apologize. It has been so long since I've seen this. So, I did not remember everything to do. But, this is where you had spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Sitting here just brings back a lot of memories. It does, huh? Huh? Hi! What a coincidence! It must be destiny! <laughs> Maybe. Ah! Oh, so you guys came here too! Hi! It's Glad to see you again. It's special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Mm-hmm. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. Hey, Kanji, Rise, Nato. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was Aww. feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Glad you did. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Sure. Steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! Steak. Will you oh, shut gosh. up about your steaks? Never! <laughs> oh. You reminisce with the others. I really had fun in this world. Good. Dude, your it was fun having you around. About fun. Yeah, pretty much. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. No. But I gotta say, but I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It was a good thing to do. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. <laughs> yeah. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Hmm. 
even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come yeah. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. Hmm. How did you learn about it, Chie? Good question. I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Another good question, huh? Who knows? M maybe someone accidentally came across it. I doubt Midnight it. Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. Yes, it was. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. Yeah, good point. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Hmm. Didn't that Amino something monster say... It granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. Mm -hmm. So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're Oops. an exception? Um, well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatane? Good question. Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? Hmm. What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? And there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? Hmm. You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. Hmm. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Let's see. The sender is listed as Adachi. This is from jail? Yep. It's from Adachi. Hmm. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ah. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time. I'll abide by the rules of this world. Good. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started. About that midnight channel. Do tell. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town. Before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. Hmm. The letter from Adachi ends here. Hmm. It's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. Hmm. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors. Then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? Hmm. There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. Maybe. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Hmm. 
Uh, did I strike gold again? It, it's seriously just something that popped into my head. I think you may have. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The Power and Enter TVs, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town, when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Amatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. There is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none Maybe. of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? Possibly. So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Mm -hmm. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. Yes, ma'am. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. I agree. All right. Who could have given this initial spark to this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... Uh... I hope this doesn't matter. In any case, you need to see and confirm the truth. Right. Okay. Now, according to this... Um, we go to the riverbank? Yeah, I'm leaving this up so I don't get stuck again. Learn my lesson. Riverbank. Hey! Hi, guys! Hey! I want to talk yeah. to you. What's wrong? Until you first came to town. Um, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure me and Nautical left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight home. Uh, now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh, a lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, big bro? On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? The gas station. I used a the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Gas station. Wow. Yeah. When I first met you, I remember the gas station attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Oh yeah, I do remember you talking to that attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It was... it wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah, come to think of it, I never saw that guy again. Uh, um... Um... It was... it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird, but after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I looked sick? Um... Um, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home, are you car sick? You said you were okay, but... That attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Hmm, I didn't know about that. And honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. 
So, why are you looking for the person in, you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? Uh, it might be important. I see. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come home. You should come back home early. There's some dark, dark clouds on the horizon. You might get some rain soon. Uh, wait for me? Yeah! Okay! Gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. Hopefully. Let's see. Yes. Now this part I remember. This part I specifically do remember. Thankfully. Really? I thought we just had to come here. Hold on. Um... Oh! Okay. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How Hi. may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm. What may that be? Hmm. Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. Okay. It says on this guy to go in back in here twice. <gasps> Ah, but that might be a this golden is a thing. Surprise. These are shards of power. Oh. Allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Mm. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Yes, I have. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Kyrie's heart a little bit. Although hers had a pink glow to it. Orb of sight. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. Yes. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now oh. go to the place where everything began. Okay, so this is... The next thing is what I was thinking of that I remember clearly. Okay. I totally forgot about that. It began raining. Uh-oh. Let's save. So far, so good. Okay. Now. Oh! There you are! Hi! Hi there. Do you need something? Isn't this where I first... First? What are you talking about? Oh. Is this about the part-time job? I'm sorry, we don't have an opening yet. Uh... Okay. Should be obvious what's next, okay. Just making sure there's not something I'm specifically supposed to say. Do you know Adachi? Ah, that serial murder suspect? A real tragedy, wasn't it? 
But the case was solved, right? Thank goodness. Something else can help you with? Did those two come here? Well, that's a weird question to ask. I don't know if it was right here, but I might have met them before. I've been in this town for a long time, so yeah, there's a good chance. But it's not like I knew them personally. If you got nothing else, you mind leaving me alone? Uh-uh. Still need something? Hey, I asked you to leave me alone. Did you miss that? Did you do anything to them? Huh? To those two? Oh, that's right. I remember now. I think I met them when they first came to town. So I greeted them, saying, Welcome to Inaba. But that's all. Just that. <laughs> what about it? What did you do to me? What did I do? <laughs> Don't you remember? I met you here when you first came to town. I did the same thing as what I did to those two. I greeted you. That's all. Remember we talked for a couple minutes? Hey, mind if I ask you something? Why all these questions? Is there something about yeah, something that's bothering you about the time we when we first met? Who are you? <laughs> Amazing! You've reached me at last. <laughs> Let's drop this charade. To be quite honest, I was waiting for you to come. Adachi, Namatame, and you. It is I who awakened that power within you three. The ones who have potential. And having said that, I'm rather surprised. Oh, I love this twist. So the last battle wasn't enough for you? <laughs> yes. I've known this the entire time and kept my mouth shut. But, yeah. He has certainly have the powers I was expecting. Do we? Why did you choose me? For your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. <laughs> Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like this. Hmm. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Remember that? Remember that from the very freaking beginning? <laughs> God, I love this game and its twist. It's so good. Ah, I love it. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. Uh-huh. Yeah. A handshake is what awakened our power. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. Oh, it seems so the good. stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough oh. to envelop this town with fog and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? To learn the truth. What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. Maybe. Hello. I am Izunami. Yeah, you didn't think they were actually a regular attendant now, did you? They're a god too. Ruler of the fog, 
is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. Yeah, also in school they mention, I think, the tale of Izanami and Izanagi, right? You awakened to a power I had not imagined. I'll hint to this. And now, you face me with it. I can no longer ignore the situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But I am worried. Return, you must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> the one you just encountered was the entity behind everything. Her name is Izanami. You can hear your friend's voices in the distance. It's so hey, are good! You all right? Who is that you were just talking to? Just when you think all the twists are over. Nope. <laughs> Did she just disappear? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. You told your gathered friends what happened between you and the gas station attendant. So, it wasn't over after all. Nope. <laughs> You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Yep. No, okay, the others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Hmm. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. Yes. Alright, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness. Yes, I need to prep for all that. Because... <laughs> oh boy. We are going to do this. We have one more dungeon to clear. Now, please tell me I can go shopping, because I'm, I'm going to do that, like, either off stream or... Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Let me see what you... Oh, yay. Uh, I just want to... Oh, I got nothing to sell. Okay. Well, good. I need to try and prepare before I go in there. And it's time for me to end this video, but... Yeah. I'm going to save here. And yeah. We are on our way to the true ending of base Persona 4. There is apparently more for Golden, which I don't know enough about, and yeah, because I haven't gotten there yet. I own Golden now, because it's out on PC, but I am a long ways away from this. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that little twist. It's so good, right? Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, share it around if you want, link to my Twitter, Patreon, it's all in the description as per usual, and yeah, next time... We're going in. One last push. One last dungeon. And then it'll be the end. But until then, see you guys later.